Kevin. Hi. Can you say hi, Grandma? Talk to Grandma for a minute. Talk so I can have your voice on the recorder. Grandma won't see you for a while, and I'm going to miss you, so talk to me. Can you say I love you? I love you, honey. Are you a good boy? Are you a big boy? Would you like to go up to the pond and see the fishes? Do you want to go see the fishes? Cassie too? Fishes too, Cassie. Oh, who's that with you? Apricot. Apricot? Oh, she's so cute. I can't see you. I can see Apers. Put your head out so I can see. Oh, there she is. There she is. Good boy. Okay. Kevin, come here, honey. Just pick up a pine cone. Come on. Just pick up a pine cone and come on. Okay, let's go. Cassie, did you get a pine cone? Oh, okay. Okay. Did it fall out of the tree? Oh, that's nice. Okay. Okay, honey, I'm coming. Don't throw things, honey. Can you don't throw it? Don't throw it. No, don't throw it, honey. <laughs> we'll have to find them. What's up there? What, the ducks? Oh, and they swam into the water? Uh-huh. Oh. They went over that hill. Oh. No, and, they, that. and they jumped right in the water, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah, Kevin, wait for Grandma, please. Yeah. <laughs> we should have brought some bread. Grandma forgot about the bread. Go get it. Well, I'd have to go back down there, and I can't. I can't leave you two out here by yourself. Okay. I won't stay here and watch your ducky. No, honey. Why? Because I'm afraid you'll fall in and I wouldn't be here to save you. You'd drown. Grandma can't do that. I love you. Okay. Let's go for the ducky. Well. Huh? Yeah, just a minute. Kevin, come here. Did you say, did you say goodbye, duck? Kevin. Say goodbye, duck. Bye, duck. We're going to get some bread for you. Okay, let's go back to the house and get some bread and come back, okay? Okay. Go get them, Kev. Kev, no, they think you're going to feed them. Don't do that. They don't like that, Kevin. Kevin. Duck, you're going to feed it to the duck? Uh-huh. Do they like leaves? Uh-huh. I didn't know that. I thought they ate bread and buds and stuff. Them. Okay. Let's go. Wait, hair. Kevin. Kevin, wait. Wait. Get, wait. Get over here. See the car? You don't go out there. Yeah, I don't. Oh, well, get your pine cone. No, you don't throw that. We're going to throw bread. Uh -huh. Just bread. Just, yeah, bread, honey. Not that. They can't wet these 
Wait, Cassie, for Grandma and Kevy. That's a good girl. Yeah, they don't eat pine cones and leaves, Kevy. They eat bread, honey. They have to watch that. No, they don't like that. Okay? Let's go. Let's walk to the pond. Wait, Kevy. Yeah. Wait, kids. Go in there. Wait. Kathy, yeah. don't get too close now, honey. Give Kevy a little piece. What's Kevy doing? Kevin, get over here. Kevy. Kevin, not going to believe they don't want leaves. Throw the sack in, Cassie, okay? Give the sack to Grandma. Why? Because that's bad. You can't put the sacks in there. Let Grandma have the sack. Thank you, honey. It's all gone. Huh? It's all gone. No more. We haven't got any more bread. Oh, Lord, you can go back. We just have some. Tell them you're sorry. No more duckies. Kevy, don't get too close. You'll fall in. Come on. Okay, that's enough. What? No, that's... You got all those pine cones? You're going to give some to Mama? You are? Is that for Mama? No. Oh, for Kevy? For Grandpa? For Grandma? 
Who then? Be careful.
looking for me.
Yeah. 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 right now and these trees are I believe they're crab apple trees but they're just beautiful I hope you can see as, how pretty they are in their bloom these right well these right here these aren't the crab apple these are um, uh, red buds they call them red buds and they're beautiful and but these over here are the crab apple ones right here. We've got all kinds of them here. That white tree right there, they're all underneath all those big trees. Wherever you look, see there's another one right there. All underneath those trees is the, is the um, dogwood. They are just beautiful. Have pretty white blooms. They're like a star, it looks like a, I mean like a cross. And there's a story about the dogwood that's like, you know, about Jesus on the cross. This is, this is um, the battlefield of Pew Ridge. This is their entrance right here. You can see that uh, tank over there. And they have, um, every year they have reenactments of the battle. Bill and I haven't been to one yet, but we want to come to one of them. 
I'll walk over here and I'll show you the battlefield where they fought. Aren't these trees beautiful under here? I want to plant some of these at our place. I think they are just the prettiest trees when they're in bloom. And they have pretty um, uh, leaves on them the rest of the year. Except for, you know, except fall, of course. And you can see the battlefield in front of me. Cold though, it's really nice and balmy, but the wind sure blows here sometimes. They have deer that come out here in the evening, you can see them all over. Okay, this is the battlefield where they fought and died. It's really depressing. Bill and I went came here and, and uh, went on a tour. It was quite depressing thinking about the men who died here. See all the flowers flying, all the petals. of our history. We live about, um, probably about eight miles from here. When they have a reenactment, I'm going to film that. I think that'll be exciting. And I'll send that to you to see. like snow coming down, doesn't it? All the pebbles, pebbles and the trees. Our road going to our place and right now you can see the red buds that just come up along the, in the trees in the spring. And they're right over here. Some more. And then the dogwoods back through there, you see the white through the trees again. They're all over. Everywhere you go, you see the dogwoods. And I think they're just so beautiful. I love this time of year when all, everything's coming out. And it's just, so you can see just the little buds coming out now. I mean, they're, they're not full leaves yet. But then when they come out, it's just green through here. I think it's just beautiful. I wanted to share that.
what you see when you come around the corner to our place. It's Tom and Betty's place. It's just beautiful. It's a beautiful place here. And then, I don't know if you can see Tom out there mowing the grass. That one, I said, so was I. But I, I like our house even better, the way it's built. But it sure is a beautiful place, what they have. See old Bill out there? Going around, mowing his little lawn. The duckies are coming over here. <laughs> yeah, didn't know we'd have any of the geese down here. Flying around. Oh no, you don't get a stick dust. You scare them with a stick.
Oh, Shell. Oh, it's freezing. Is it? It's probably too cold to go in it oh. still. It's got to be pretty warm before you go in this water. I think we'll just get a swimming, one of their inflatable swimming pools and put out. Yeah. I think so. That's going to get off. <laughs> this is the fun. Hi, you know. ducky, ducky. You almost yeah. fell again, didn't you, Jeff? You're trying to fall in, I think. No. Yeah. That didn't stop us. <laughs> Mom and don't want to go swimming after you. I got the monkey. Look at these big geese. They're a big army. They're big. They're big. Get in, Dust. Get in, honey. Get in. Take off, Mom. Take off. Take off. Well, what's your sound like? Honkers. <coughs> they call them honkers. What's that? <laughs> it's got a thick belly. Because Bat guys, huh? You know those are the ones you see way up in the sky flying. One of these days when I say, look up it there in the sky, you can see the geese. You'll see them way up in the sky and I'll show you, okay? They fly way high.
Hey, you. Get her. Get her. Uh-oh. Get back there. Oh, no. Oh, no. She's going to get me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Her coming to get me. Okay, wait. Dusty, don't hurt her. Hey, Grace. Crazy, 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 crazy. Dust. Don't. Leave her alone. Crazy. 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 get me. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you in the nose. Crazy. Oh, you just, she just hit her head. Her hit her head. Come on, Crazy. Here. Take girl's hand. Take my hand. Please. You take a okay, picture take, of Grace. Wait a minute, both of you. Oh, they're my sweeties. Hey, Gracie. Gracie, Gracie, Gracie. Gracie, Gracie, Grace. Gracie, Gracie, Gracie. Gracie, Gracie, Gracie. Gracie, Gracie, Gracie. Kitty, 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 kitty. Meow. Meow. Uh. Oh, Get oh. They're my baby Gracie. Get her. Get her. Ow! Ow, her hurt my leg. Ow, ow, her bite me. Oh, uh, ow, uh, ow. I'll take a picture of her. I'll take a picture of her. I'll take a picture of her. Honey, no, not right now. Let's take a picture of her. Gracie. Ow! Grandma, does she get in her purse? Dusty, don't you get in my purse. Get uh, you. I when I was in doubt, he delivered me. Jesus brought me out. And in my soul, it had to be set free. So my Lord, my Lord, but he delivered me. He delivered me. When I was in doubt, he delivered me. Yeah, Jesus brought me out. He knew my soul, it had to be set free. So my Lord, my Lord, but he delivered me. Oh, maybe I don't need right that. Right now? Yeah. That's no, it says I do need it. Well, it still says it's low light. There's our Missy on her 17th birthday. Can you believe that? 17 years old? <gasps> okay. We're going to sing happy birthday in a minute there. They are over there lighting up the beautiful cake. Hi, Fish. Hi, Dudu. Uh oh, honey, you know you said Brittany. that. We, you know what we're going to have to do with this tape? Because mm. I need to uh, do it anyway. Not better. What about Brian? I'll Brian. talk to you about it. How about you everybody? Say hi, everybody. Say hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what we're going to do with him. Joe's going to set me on fire. If you didn't get oh, you know. so old, I wouldn't have to set you on fire, but considering her age. Every, day, every year I get older, so every year you get older. Not me. Uh huh. Mm hmm. <laughs> she, postpone, she postponed hers, so she gets a year delay. You know, it's not really um, enough light for some reason, so it's not going to be real clear, guys. I get the big ones. These are going to be all melted down by the time you get to the last one. <laughs> what are okay. the wax sticks? Missy's aged. 
couple of them are now. Hmm. Anytime you'd like to grab a candle and start lighting your way. I can't, I'm holding the candle. You could have put it down. You're going to blow them out for me. That is one way we can park. I didn't do that one until last because it's size. Okay. <laughs> Happy birthday! Come on. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's smoldering at the bottom there. There we go. Oh boy, Dustin. Here you go, Missy. I'll cut the cake here for you. Missy says, I don't want cake. I want cake. <laughs> want me to take two? What, honey? Want me to take? No, it's okay. That's for me, honey. For me. I didn't. I didn't put anybody. I just. Oh my God! I want that. Okay. Here you go, Dustin. Do you want to bring those forks over here, please, little guys? Bring them a little fork. It's a pillowcase doll, oh, honey. It's a pillowcase? Uh-huh, it's called a pillowcase doll, honey. Because it's made out of a pillowcase. The, the dress part of it, I think. Oh, it's made out of a pillowcase. Oh, it's so pretty. Hey, Missy, we can put that on the couch. It looks like <coughs> I know. Really. Now she's a living room. Look at this. I thought Will and Lily once again in my room. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Susie. You're welcome. Give her the other one that I did too, and then she can just do mine, and then she okay. can do. Okay. Where's that from, Susie? This one? Uh huh. Just look. Take that one. This is. Oh, it's my earring. Oh, I like those. Good. I'm glad you do. <laughs> it's earrings, everyone. <laughs> you know how few earrings I have? I like those. Aren't those pretty? You want that? Yeah. Oh, of course I can have that. Oh, that's cute. Here, Dustin. 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 For now I'm getting you all of them at once, Miss. One more. Yeah. So she don't have to think about it anymore. Yeah, oh, that's from your aunt Joe. Honey, you'll understand that it's a joke. Oh, 
давай. Oh my gosh. Nobody eats more chocolate than you. And Joe, every time we stop, chocolate. Every time we stop, right? Every time we stop, it's chocolate. I love these bags. Aren't well, they, they pretty? Yeah. Filled up for my birthday. <laughs> The life of the party. Really good. Oh, honey. Has she been doing that a lot, Shell? I got to change her. She's. Besides cookies and cake and chocolate cake, of course. Okay. Okay. I got you that time, baby. Yeah. I got you, baby. Okay. 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 and does Kevy and Cassie ah. made it pretty. Ah. Ah. And there he is being silly as usual. And we decorated the mantle. And it's all decorated. And there's our Christmas balls. making a Christmas stocking for the kids. And there's our Missy who's staying with us. Oh, don't, honey, don't. Look up there. 
See the angel? See the angel? Oh. <laughs> uh, there's a white sign. There's what sign? The Christmas tree. Christmas, huh? We don't have any presents yet under the tree, honey. Okay, let's take off your coats. Isn't that pretty, huh? Come here. <laughs> yeah, hold her up to it. Look up there, see the angel up there? Isn't that pretty? Huh? Turn it off, honey. I'll turn it. <laughs> Crazy party? Don't just you like it off. <sighs> Let's see what she does. Just let her do it. of aerials and blisters on these models provides evidence of the optical viewing system for low-level flight and attack, the phase six electronic countermeasures and the new digital navigation and bombing system. The mighty beast is in the evening of its life and is to be replaced in the penetration role by the B-1. But because of its combination of payload and range, the B-52 still has a future as a cruise missile carrier and finally in the maritime support role with Harpoon anti-ship missiles. The F-111 operates at the sharp end of NATO's defenses, the most advanced models lurking in bomb-proof shelters on three British bases, and older aircraft waiting in the USA for forward deployment. Their task? Strike far into any aggressor's rear to destroy the communications vital for any major offensive into Western Europe. Nicknamed the Aardvark and capable of Mach 2 plus speeds at altitude, the F-111 was the world's first operational swing wing combat aircraft. But the type suffered many problems with its structure, avionics and power plant when it was introduced in the late 1960s, though successive fixes and variants have cured these failures. The two-seat F-111 has now taken off as the Western world's best long-range all-weather attack aircraft. The F-111 has a small weapons bay as well as six underwing pylons and can carry nuclear bombs. In general, though, it is used for conventional weapons up to a maximum of 31,500 pounds. Particularly important are laser-guided bombs such as these underwing paveway bombs. 
The Aardvark has other sophisticated avionics, including internal and external electronic countermeasures, but just as significant are the inertial navigation system, Doppler navigation, large attack radar, and the highly capable terrain following radar, all vital for low-level navigation and attack over the F-111's combat radius of some 1,500 miles on internal fuel. The terrain following avionics give the F-111 crew the opportunity to select day and night all-weather automatic terrain following at any chosen height above the ground. This is a feature of great tactical importance as the F-111 tries to operate over hostile territory at high speed and low height. In this low-level mode, the retractable paved tack belly pack comes into its own. The system's forward-looking infrared sensor allows targets to be acquired under most weather conditions, and the laser permits target designation even as the aircraft is leaving the area. Here, the variable geometry of the aircraft also plays its part. The use of maximum sweep allowing high speed without the bumpy ride that would otherwise wear down the crew in low-level flight. The Rockwell B-1B entered service in 1986 as the swing wing replacement for the USAF's B-52 in the strategic penetration role. The whole system was born in the 1960s as a Mach 2 high-level bomber, but was cancelled by President Carter and was finally revived by President Reagan as a modestly supersonic, long-range, low-level bomber and missile carrier. Just 100 are to be built. The B-1B is now tailored to high subsonic penetration of enemy airspace at low level over any terrain. The electronically controlled ride ensures minimum fatigue for the crew and the airframe, complete with its maximum 80,000 pounds of weapons. The airframe and engine nacelles are designed to reduce the B-1B's radar signature, which is only one hundredth that of the B-52. The B-1B is thus a fairly stealthy aircraft in the modern sense of the word. The complex airframe and afterburning turbofan power plant are matched by the mission avionics, operated by just two of the four-man crew. The offensive system permits highly accurate navigation and weapon delivery, while the impressive ALQ-161 defensive system automatically monitors and neutralizes enemy electronic sensors. The B-1B can carry a huge conventional warload, but is designed for strategic nuclear weapons. In its definitive form, the B-1B will be able to carry an internal and external load of 26 freefall thermonuclear bombs, 46 SRAM defense suppression missiles, or 30 air-launched cruise missiles, or a mix of these. The key to the B-1B's performance is its use of swing wings with an advanced fuselage of great capacity but low drag. The combination provides good field performance and long range with the wings forward, together with the supersonic dash performance and low level ride comfort with the wings swept. In short, the B-1B offers national deterrent capability beyond that suggested by the type's small numbers. The trickiest part about the B-1 is trying to get on the flying schedule. I wish we could get on the flying schedule more than, uh, uh, than what we do. Uh, actually, uh, hands-on flying the aircraft, uh, probably uh, air refueling at night uh, is probably the, the most tricky. You don't uh, have a, as good a view of the tanker as you're doing during the daytime. Some of your visual cues are not there like they are during the daytime. Uh, so you have to be a little bit more cautious on uh, what you're doing and trying to stay behind the uh, tanker. Attention all cat lovers, here it is, the cat and mouse watch. What a charming way to keep perfect time. It gives you seconds just as precisely, but more playfully than other watches. And it's lavished with quality features to combine a unique style with amazing accuracy. 
In fact, we guarantee the accuracy of your heirloom watch with a no-nonsense 25-year refund policy. You'll thrill to loving details like the sable gray leatherette strap and the gleaming gold tone case and superb imported quartz movement. Now, on this special TV offer, you get a genuine cat and mouse watch complete with its own personal and numbered certificate of authenticity. All for the unbelievable price of just $19.99. So don't lose time. Have your credit card ready and call now for rush delivery. To order, have your credit card ready and call 1-800-776-4400 or send check or money order for $19.99 plus $4 shipping and handling to Cat and Mouse Watch, 33 American Way, Roanoke, Virginia. Did I tell you about that? No. When Dick Mankovich oh, joined I UPS in 1960, you still got to work. You still got to deliver the bundles. You know I mean? We didn't go to Bangkok. Looking good, Mankovich. Or Budapest. Okay, the roads are very icy, very slippery. Uh, you want to take extra care as you're driving out there. Let's go out and uh, have a good one. We didn't have our own fleet of planes or 100,000 vehicles or the capacity to deliver more packages more efficiently than any company on Earth. But thanks to people like Dick Mankovich. Hey, how you doing, Norm? Oh, hi, Dick. We do now. Some window. <laughs> They live a life we can't quite understand. Enter their world and learn the secrets passed on from monkeys to apes. Mondays at 8 Eastern, only on the Discovery Channel. On the island of Costa Rica, there's a playground for chimps. Well, the next wild things will visit their sanctuary where monkey business is a way of life. I'm Doug McConnell. Join me Mondays at 11 Eastern, only on the Discovery Channel. Big news from AT&T. Now you can get one free hour of high-quality AT&T long distance and enjoy special savings 24 hours a day with the AT&T Reach Out America plan. Reach Out America gives you an additional 25% discount starting at 5 p.m., a 10% daytime discount, plus an hour of weekend and night calls, and it costs just $8.70 a month. Hi, Grandma. Yes, I'm fine, and so is Harry. Call 1-800-358-3311 for the AT&T Reach Out America plan. Order now and get one free hour of long distance plus a special $5 savings. The plan also includes an international discount at no extra charge. You can even get an option that lets you save on calls away from home. Call 1-800-358-3311 and save on quality AT&T long distance day and night. AT&T. The right choice. The Mirage 2000 air superiority fighter is clear evidence of France's faith in the tailless Delta layout. In this instance, Dassault Breguet has produced a thoroughly modern machine with advanced aerodynamics and a fly-by-wire control system to overcome the drag limitations of the earlier Mirage 3 series. The result is a Mach 2 aircraft able to take full advantage of air-to-air -air missiles such as the short-range but very maneuverable magic air-to-air -air missile seen here. Computer-linked leading-edge slats and trailing-edge elevons controlling an inherently unstable design make the Mirage 2000 extremely agile at altitude without the energy losses suffered by earlier Mirages. But the large wing and its light loading make the fighter less adept at low level.